Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, with your permission, I will answer question number nine and nineteen uh, together. We are supporting Scotland's energy transition through the North Sea Transition Deal. Additionally, 44 of the 161 project uh, award contracts for difference for renewable electricity are in Scotland. More recently, we have allocated £81.1 million pounds of funding to 81 locations throughout Scotland. I have a list. I will not go through them, Mr. Speaker. As part of the £1 billion net zero innovation portfolio from 2021 to 2025. Furthermore. We have committed to fund the Aberdeen Energy Transition Zone for £27 million and the Global Underwater Hub aimed at diversification in the subsea sector for £6.5 million. Pounds. Say Mr Speaker, there is a lot to take in there, but uh, recent positive noises around the Acorn Carbon Capture Project near Peterhead are obviously welcome, albeit with the caveat that we have heard a lot of this before. So can the Minister confirm what funds Track 2 projects are going to get, when Acorn will be confirmed as getting funding, or at least when even such announcements will be made? And will they agree with me that Track 2 projects must proceed much faster than Track 1, both because of the climate emergency and so we can seize the opportunity to be world leaders in this technology? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thank the uh, Honourable Member for his question. He's absolutely right. There was a lot to take in. That's because the UK Government is doing so much to support yeah. Scotland's uh, uh, energy uh, transition. Uh, on Acorn, I mean, he, uh, he, 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 he does not. Uh, recognise there's already been £40 million of funding uh, from this government uh, in the project, most notably £31.3 million under the Industrial Decarbonisation Challenge. I've got the breakdown of the funding, if the Speaker will allow me. £31.3 million from Industrial Decarbonisation <laughs> Challenge for onshore and offshore FED studies, £9.3 million of innovation funding for CCS Innovation Advancing CCS Technology and Hydro Supply Programmes, and £250,000 for the development of Sarega's Dreamcatcher Direct Air Capture Plant. And Track 2 has been announced. Minister, don't tempt me. <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Good, slow his answers down to a bit of a blur. Uh, <laughs> just last week, uh, Harbour Energy announced that they are cutting 350 highly skilled and valued jobs in Aberdeen, directly linking this to the poorly implemented energy profit levy. We warned many, many times this would disproportionately affect Aberdeen and Scotland. And unfortunately, we have been proven right. Will the UK government now commit to matching the Scottish government's £500 million transition, just transition fund and protect our energy? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm afraid I have to take all of that with a massive pinch of salt. Now it turns out the SNP are against the windfall tax uh, on the oil and gas industry. When I heard for weeks and weeks and months and months them campaigning for a windfall tax on our oil and gas industry, we have introduced the energy profits levy to deal with the immediate uh, crisis that we have regarding energy bills right now. But we have built into that uh, investment opportunities for companies to continue to innovate, to create jobs and continue to develop our offshore oil and gas uh, fields because we will be reliant as a transition fuel on them for many months to come. This government is committed to jobs and opportunities in the north east of Scotland, unlike the Scottish National Party, we close it down tomorrow. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I am sure the Minister will be able to give me a short answer to this uh, question. Does he agree with me that what transition in Scotland definitely does not involve is some knee-jerk shutting down of the oil and gas yeah, uh, industry, yeah, 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 yeah. especially given that uh, gas, liquid gas supplied by tankers uh, has two and a half times the emissions of gas produced yeah, in the North Sea? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, I completely agree with my right honourable friend. He is absolutely right on this issue. Indeed, shamefully, it was their partners in government, the Green Party. In fact, Minister Patrick Harvey that said that oil and gas workers in Aberdeen should simply get on their bikes and look for other jobs instead of investing in the industry which this government is doing.